1957 Milwaukee Braves are the current kings of the hill and they were led yesterday by the the hammer Henry Aaron he went 4-4-4 with four base hits and a run scored now they're playing at home Milwaukee County Stadium and they are hosting the 1958 New York Yankees This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Hello, everybody. This is Apple Brian and Apple Baseball Classics, bringing to you game number 62 of the King of the Hill tournament. So far, the standings are dominated by New York teams. We're going to play through this tournament and walk through baseball history. And uh, when we get down to the end of it, the top two teams will play a World Series, best of seven, to become the king of the hill for the 2023 Apple Classics King of the Hill Tournament. 1935, Pittsburgh Crawfords, they're 4-1 and one with a plus 14 run differential. In second place are the 38 Yankees. 4-1 plus 11 runs. The 1932 Yankees are 4-1 plus 4 runs. And the 1911 New York Giants are 3-1 plus 11. And the 51 New York Giants are 3-1 plus 6. Here are today's starting lineups. First for the New York Yankees, Tony Kubek, Ina Slaughter, Mickey Mantle, Norm Sievern, Yogi Berra, Andy Carey, Bill Scourin, Gil McDougall, and Art Dittmar is on the mound for the Milwaukee Braves. Bill Bruton, Red Chandies, Henry Aaron, Eddie Matthews, Wes Covington, Johnny Logan, Frank Torrey, Del Crandall, and Bob Trowbridge is on the mound. Today I'll be using the Marino boards. Bob Trowbridge is a graded 8 reliever, but he's starting, so he's be grade 7 with a wide strikeout modifier. Tony Kubek steps into the box for the Yankees, and here's the first roll of the game. 3-2 is a ground ball to second base. Play made by second baseman Red Shandies. One away, Ina Slaughter. Long time St. Louis Cardinal steps into the box. 5-3 is a 16. And that is testing the center field like Billy Burton, who is a rated 2 center field, and that's going to be a base hit. Can't quite get there. Slaughter is on first. Here's Muscles, Mickey Mantle. Five four is a fly ball to the right side. Henry Aaron is playing right field and he makes the catch. Two outs with the man on first and Norm Seaburn. He played several years at first base for the Kansas City A's. He started out as a Yankee outfielder. 34 is a fly out to center fielder. Bill Bruton. No runs on a hit. No errors. One left. We go to the bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing with the Braves coming to bat. We're at the fourth spot of the pitching rotations. And Art Dittner, Dittmar is pitching for the Yankees. He is a grade 10 starting pitcher with a Z control modifier. In 1959, Art Dittmar became probably the Yankees' ace in the 59 season. Here is, I might be confusing that with the 60, but he was he was good in 59 and 60. He was not bad in 1958. Billy Bruton leads off for the Braves. 3-4 is a fly ball to Mickey Mantle in center field. He covers a lot of territory out there. One down. Red Shane Deist. J.D. rolls a 4-1. That's a ball hit on the ground. Bouncing to Tony Kubek. Throw to first. Two outs. Here's Henry Aaron. And uh, he has yet to make it out in this tournament. This is only the second game, but he had a perfect day yesterday. 4-4-4. Four, 1-5 four, four. is a 8. Bitmar is a 10 and negative 1 against right-handed pitchers. Makes him an 11, but that's going to be a, another base hit for... Henry Aaron, five for five in this project. Eddie Matthews, five six will end it. That's a swing and a miss, strike three. 
No runs on a hit. We go to the top of the second. No score. Brace pitcher Bob Torbridge is from Hudson, New York. He was quite a high school pitcher, averaging 15 strikeouts a game. That attracted some major league attention. Uh, but he, he ended up signing with a minor league team and then went into three years of military service and kind of missed an opportunity to pitch against prime uh, competition in those days. Started out as a fastball pitcher. By the time uh, 1957 rolled around for the Braves, he had added curveballs and sliders. He had a little bit of an arm, arm injury that forced him to focus more on his breaking pitch, and that was probably a blessing in disguise. Jogi Berra steps into the box for the Yankees. 4-1 is a ground ball to the shortstop. Yogi's the first out. Third baseman, Andy Carey. 6-6 six, six roll for Carey. That's a drive. It might be. It could be. It's out of here. The New York Yankees get on the board first. Solo home run by Andy Carey. Yankees won. Braves nothing. Here is Moose Scowlin. 4-1 is a ground out to the shortstop Johnny Logan. We like to picture Tro Trowbridge is from the state of New York. Gil McDougall. 4-3 is a ground ball back to Trowbridge. But this time on one hit, the Yankees get a run. Home run by Andy Carey. Yankees won, and the Braves nothing. Wes Covington leads off for the Braves. 2-6 is a fly ball to right field. Norm Seaburn makes the catch. Here is Johnny Logan. 3-1. All right, he, he, he gets play result of a 9, negative 2 against Logan for, for right-hander. So 12 for Detmar is going to be a ground out to third base. If we were playing basic kappa, that would be a hit. Here is Frank Torrey. 1-3 is a 14. That's a base on balls. Now the catcher, Del Crandall, good hitting catcher for the Braves. 15 homers in 1957. 53 is a 19. Grab Andy Carey. He has to leave his feet to get it quickly to his feet to throw to first. In time, third out. Nice play by Andy Carey. Preserves the Yankees lead one to nothing. We go to the top of the third. One nothing Yankees. Pitcher Art Dittmar leads off. 1-5. Art Dittmar, the pitcher, strokes a single in the left field. Third hit for the Yankees. Average speed of first base. Tony Kubek, 265 hitter. All right, Kubek's going to try to butt one and lay it down. 27. Butt it at, missed, strike two. Counts on two. Let's let him hit away. 6-4 is a swing and a miss, strike three. All right, that brings out Enos Country Slaughter. 3-3 three, three roll, that's a seven. Base hit for Slaughter, and Dittmar will make it all the way to third. Yankees have first and third with one out. Let's see, the Braves will play the infield back, hope for a double play against Mickey Mal. Or they're just trying to preserve the health of their infield. They don't want to play them close against muscles. Trowbridge in the stretch. Here's the pitch to Mantle. 6-4 is a base on balls. Working carefully to the Yankee slugger. Pull of the bases. That brings out Norm Seaburn. Can Norm Seaburn put a quarter in the merry-go-round? Infield still playing back. 4-6 is a swing and a miss, a clutch strikeout for Bob Trowbridge. Two outs. That's his second strikeout, but the most important of the two, for sure. Brings up Yogi Berra, 266 hitter, 22 homers in 1958. 4-3 roll to Berra is a 29. That result has a wide bite. Trowbridge has a 
why strike out Monifar so Bob Trobich suffers the bases loaded, but nobody scores as he strikes out the side. No runs on two hits and three left. Go to the bottom of the third. Yankees one and the Braves nothing. The Yankees might rue that inning. We'll see how this game develops. Bob Trowbridge will lead off the last of the third. His counterpart led off his inning with a single. Let's see what Trowbridge can do. 2-1 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Art Dittmar. Top of the order in the speedy Billy Bruton. Ground ball to the shortstop. Tony Kubek scoops and throws the first. Two gone. Here is Red Shandeast. 6-1 is a ground out to third. Three up and three down for the Braves in the third. Top of the fourth, Yankees one, Milwaukee nothing. All right, Andy Carey will lead off for New York. He's responsible for the game's only run with a solo home run in the second inning. 2-5. Ground ball up the middle for a base hit. Carey is two for two. Brings out Bill Scourin. Trollbred peers in for the sign. Here's the stretch and the pitch. 2-2 two, two roll. That's a base. seven for Scourin. Line drive to left center field, but cut off by Covington. Andy Carey will bypass second base and go to third. Scourin stops at first. Yankees have first and third and nobody out. Gil McDougal. McDougal from San Francisco, California. There's another famous Yankee second baseman from San Francisco. Tony Lazari is from there. 6-2 is a swing and a miss strike three. Trowbridge relying on that strikeout when he really needs it. Here's the pitcher, Art Dittmar. Let's see if he can get Dittmar. That pitch on the real boards is a ball, ball one. Infield's playing deep for a possible double play. 41, it is hit to the shortstop. Fielded by Logan over to Shane Days and to Torrey. It's a 6-4-3 inning ending double play. The Yankees are stranding a lot of important runners here in this game. They had the bases loaded. In the third, couldn't do anything with it. They had the first two on in the fourth and couldn't do anything with it. Bottom of fourth, one nothing Yankees. Henry Aaron leads off the last of the fourth. He has a streak of being on base with five straight hits. Here's the pitch to Aaron. One four is going to end that streak. Fly ball to left field. Enos Slaughter has it measured and makes the catch. Finally, somebody has retired. Hank Aaron. Here is Eddie Matthews. 2-5, 8 against uh, what will be a 11. Base hit for Eddie Matthews. Brings up Wes Covington. He's proficient with a bat, 284 with 21 homers. 6-6 six, six roll. There's a drive by Covington. It might be, it could be, it is out of here, and the Braves are in the lead, two to one. Yankees have just stranded five runners on base, and then the Braves get somebody on, and Covington hits a two-run home run. Here is Johnny Logan. Two six is a ground out to the shortstop Tony Kubek. Frank Torrey. Four fives of base on balls. Del Crandall is the eighth place hitter, but I mentioned that Marvel pitched to him. 4 4 roll. That's a base hit for Del Crandall. Torrey will go to third with two outs. First and third, Braves. And now the pitcher, Bob Trowbridge. Five five throws, a wild pickoff throw by pitcher Detmar. That's going to let the runner on third score on earned run. And the runner first goes to second. It is three to one. Milwaukee Braves. Here's the next pitch to the pitcher Trowbridge. Five two is a ground ball to third, and that's taken by Andy Carey to throw to first. Three outs. 
But a three-run score on two hits, the main blow of the home run by Covington. Milwaukee three, and the Yankees one. Let's go to the fifth inning. Top of the order for the Bronx Bombers, it'll be Kubek, Slaughter, and Mantle. Pitch to Tony Kubek, 6-5, as they pop up behind home plate. Del Crandall is under it and makes the catch. Tony Kubek's 0 for 3. Here's Country Slaughter. He is 2 for 2. 3 2 is a ground ball to uh, Shane Deese at second base. Slaughter's retired. Mickey Mantle flied out and walked. Another walk to Mantle. Fast runner at first with two gone. Better is Norm Seaver, and he was a 300 hitter. Pretty good with the bat. He was pretty good with the A's. And there's a drive by Seaburn. Second column roll. 1 3 is going to be a double for Norm Seaburn. That blow drives in Mickey Mantle from first. RBI for Seaburn, and it's the Yankees 2, the Braves 3. Tying runs on second base for Yogi Berra. 4-4 is a 7. That's a base hit by Berra that's going to score Seaburn. Now the Yankees are cashing in their opportunities. Game is tied 3-3. Three three. Andy Carey. 5-6 will end the inning. As Carey rolls one to the first baseman for the final out. Yankees score twice on two hits. Bottom of the fifth, we got a new ball game. We're all tied up, three to three. All right, Bruton, Shane Deese, and Aaron is we're at the top of the brightest order. Pitch to Bruton, 3 1 is a nine. Pop up on the infield. Shortstop. Tony Kubek calls for it and makes the catch. It keeps speed off the base pass. Here's Red Shane 2 6 is a comebacker back to Detmar. Two outs. Now Hank Aaron. Base on balls for Aaron. He's been on base six out of seven times in this project. Fast man at first with two gone. Here's Eddie Matthews. 2-5 is a 8. Base hit for Matthews. That sends his teammate Aaron to third base. Two gone. Those runners on the corners for the Milwaukee Braves. Wes Covington. Covington homered in his last at bat. He's followed by Johnny Logan. Kevin's 284, Logan's 273, so not much difference there. Dittmar into the stretch. Here's the pitch. 6 1 is a 12. Hit on the ground to Moose Scourin. Flips the Dittmar covering. That's the end of the inning. No runs on two hits. Go to the sixth inning. Still tied 3 to 3. Moose Scourin leads off the sixth inning. Yankee first baseman. Been with the Yankees since about 1953. Three or four. One four is a fly ball to left field caught by Wes Covington. Here's Gil McDougal. Hits with a wide open batting stance. Six six roll, hit column roll for McDougal. He gets one off the sweet spot. 46 is going to be a double for McDougal. Gil McDouble brings out Art Dittmar. There's already one gone, so we're not going to sacrifice here. He's got some sevens on his card. Let's see if we hit one. Here's the pitch to Detmar. 4-1 is a ground ball to shortstop. Take that back. It's a pop-up to shortstop. Detmar's out. Two outs. Tony Kubek. 6-3 is a 34. That's also a pop-up on the infield. Second baseman Red Shandies calls for it. Three outs. Bottom of the sixth inning, we're still tied 3-3. Three to three. All right, from Indicott, New York, Johnny Logan will lead off for the Braves. 2-5 is a 8. 
Leadoff single for Johnny Logan. Logan's one for three. Here's Frank Torrey. Dittmar is rated to pitch to 28 batters. And um, let's see, he's about 24. He's at 24, so he's got four more batters before he hits his fatigue point. Here's a pitch to Torrey, 2-3. Ground ball McDougal, who gets the base runner at first out at second to throw to first, is not in time. Fielder's choice. One out. Torrey's at first. He is a slow runner. We'll play it safe on the base pass with our slow runners. And Del Crandall is the batter. 6 3 is a fly out to center field. Mickey Mantle on the play defensively. Here's Bob Trowbridge. He'll stay in the game and hit. 4-6 is a strikeout. No runs on a hit. Top of the seventh. 3-3 three, three tie. In 1958, the New York Yankee broadcasters were Mel Allen, famous for this week in baseball, uh, Red Barber, and Phil Rizzuto. Red Barber would say this game is tighter than a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. Ian Slaughter leads off the top of the seventh. 3 1 is a nine. That's a single for Slaughter. Uh, that would be an out in Basie, but that's right on the edge. Nine on a seven. So, yeah, eight would be a 33 pop up, 34 pop up. So, the Yankees start with a runner on first. Nobody out. Here is Mickey Mantle. This is the fatigue point inning for Bob Tro Trowbridge. The batter's face is not listed on his card. The way I play it is seventh innings a point of fatigue for these starters. And uh, if two more bad things happen to Trowbridge, he'll become a deep, uh, deep pitcher or he'll grade will drop to two. Mickey Mantle. Four or five is another base on balls for Mantle. He has been walked three times. They just don't want to pitch to him. Yankee fans, boo, they don't like that. Norm Seaburn. That's the end of the road for Trowbridge. The Braves are going to bring in Juan Pizarro. He's a grade five re reliever. The key point here, he's a left-handed facing the left-handed Norm Seaburn. Seaburn's a negative five against lefties, so he becomes a 10 pitcher. Pitching to Seaburn. Here's the pitch to Norm Seaburn. 3-4 is a fly ball to center field. Billy Bruton's under it and makes the catch. One gone. Here's Yogi Berra. That's a walk. Yogi Berra loads the bases with a free pass. And now Andy Carey. Carries a plus one against lefties who makes Pizarro a four. Dangerous spot here for Juan Pizarro. Swing and a miss by Carey, strike three, two outs. Infield playing back. Here's Moose Scourin, who's also plus one against lefties. Milwaukee calls time. They're going to make a pitching change here. All right, the new pitcher is a very tall Gene Conley, six foot eight, out of Muskogee, Oklahoma. He's a grade 12 reliever. Does have a W modifier. That's a little dangerous. He'll be pitching to Bill Scourin, who's negative two against righties, so he'll be 14 pitching to Scourin. All right, with two outs, here's the delivery to Scourin. Can Scourin put a quarter in the merry-go-round? 1-4 is a fly ball to left field. West Covington camps under it and makes the catch. So once again... The Yankees load the bases like they did in the third inning. Don't get anything out of it. Seventh inning stretch time. We're tied 3-3. Three to three. Art Dittmar is still on the mound for the Yankees. This next batter is his uh, point of fatigue. Three bad things happen to Dittmar. His grade will drop to a grade 6. 5-2 to Billy Bruton is a 
Ground ball to third base. Indy Carey scoops and throws. One out, and Billy Bruton is 0 for 4 on the day. Brings up Red Shane Deist, who is 0 for 3. He's not now. That's a hit column roll for Red Shane Deist. 2 6 is a double. Potential go ahead run at second base. I drive, Yankee fans. Here comes Henry. Hank Aaron has five hits in this project, five for six, plus a walk. You pitch to him, and then Matthews hits a home. You don't pitch to him, and Matthews hits a home run that really blows a hole in the game. Dittmar is going to take his chances and pitch to Hank Aaron. Here's the pitch. 4-3 is a ground ball to Moose Scourin at first base. He scoops and flips to Dittmar covering. Aaron's retired. Shane Dees goes to third. Two outs. Eddie Matthews. 2-5. Base hit for Matthews. That's going to score the runner at third. Shane Dees crosses the plate with a go-ahead run for the Braves. It is four to three. Eddie Matthews delivers for Milwaukee. That brings up West Covington. Art Dittmar is now tired. And that's going to be the end of Dittmar's day. That's going to bring on little Bobby Chance. Kurt Milwaukee pitcher, six foot eight. Bobby Chance is five foot six. He is a grade 10 pitcher. And pitching to Covington, let's see, Chance is left-handed, so pitching to Covington, who's also left-handed, he'll be a 14-grade pitcher. It's two gone, runner at first, here's the pitch to Covington, 6-3. Fly ball to center field. Mickey Mantle's under it and makes the catch, but the Braves take the lead on two hits. Go to the top of the eighth inning. Milwaukee, four, and New York, three. Top of the eighth inning, good ball game going here. The Yankees are down by a run. They have Ryan Durham warming up in the bullpen. Pitcher's due to that second in the inning. Jerry Lumpy comes out on deck, but I see also Mara Thornberry starting around with a bat in his hand. Might depend on who, who pitch hits for the pitcher or what McDougal does. Gene Conley is still on the mound, the big six foot eight right hander for the Milwaukee Braves. He pitches to Gil McDougal. Six three roll is a Pop on the infield, taken by second baseman Red Shandies. And that will send up Jerry Lumpy to the batter's box. Maura Thurberry leaves the bat rack, and he goes back to sit on the bench as um, Kubiak comes out on deck. So Lumpy's pitch inning for the pitcher. Turns out Bobby Shantz pitches one-third of an inning. Both starting pitchers are out of the game. They gave up three earned runs each, Detmar and Trowbridge. Conley works to Jerry Lumpy. 4-5 is a base on balls. So Lumpy gets on base. Average speed at first. And the batter is Tony Kubek. The tall Yankee shortstop takes his place in the left side of the batter's box. Here's the pitch from Conley to Kubek. 4-1 is a ground ball to Johnny Logan at short who throws the second and gets out uh, Lumpy. Four to six, fielder's choice. Throw the first is not in time. So Kubek is on first now with two outs. Here's Country Slaughter. Six six roll for Slaughter. Will that tie the game? One three is a triple by Enos Country Slaughter. That Slaughter does tie the game. A Hall of Famer comes through. Four to four. I'm going to fight this game out tooth and nail. Braves are going to go to their bullpen and bring in their crack reliever, Don McMahon. McMahon. He is a grade AC pitcher in basic, grade 21 relieving. McMahon pitched one inning yesterday. He's good to go and pitched to Mickey Mantle. Two outs, runner on third, game is new again. It's tied 4-4. Four to four. Here's the pitch to Mantle. Two, four is a swing and a miss, strike three. 
That's the end of the inning, but the Yankees get it tied on one hit. The big hit, a triple by Enos Country Slaughter. Bottom of the eighth, 4-4. Four, four. All right, Milwaukee saw Ryan Durham warming up in the bullpen. It's, this is, game is no holds barred. Yankees are going to bring in Ryan Durham. He is a great AC pitcher in basic. 20 is his master game rating. So we're using that. Ryan Durham, the fireballing reliever for New York, will be facing Johnny Logan. Frank Torian and Del Crandall for the Braves in the last of the eighth inning. 2-6 is a ground ball to the shortstop. Kubek scoops and throws the first. One gone. Johnny Logan is 1-4-4 four, four on the day. Frank Torrey steps in the box. He is 0-1 with two walks. 4-6 is a comebacker back to Duran. He has a W rating control-wise, but he makes an accurate throw to first. Two outs. Here's Del Crandall. 4-2 is a 38. Ball one. 5-3 is a 19. Yankees are feeling column two. That's going to test the third baseman. Let's see, he is Andy Carey. He's rated four. That's going to be an error on Andy Carey. Second time Del Crandall has benefited by a Yankee error. It was a wild pickoff throw that led to a run in the fourth inning. So Carey is on base. Oh, they're going to have uh, McMahon bat for himself. Sure, why not? 5-4 is a fly out the right field. Rays are retired in the eighth. It's come down to two ace relievers, Mahomes and Duran, opposing each other. We go to the ninth. 4-4 four, four tie. Norm Seaburn will lead off for the Yankees. When he played in Kansas City, he played first base. He had some good offensive years, but then got, ended up getting traded to Baltimore and didn't last long there or do very well. Uh, a lot of people around here said that Norm Seaburn was a little too familiar with the bottle. Here's the pitch to Norm Seaburn, 4-5, is a base on balls. Seaburn will represent the potential go-ahead run. He's at first base. There's a little bit of speed on the Yankee bench. Bobby Del Greco is pretty fast. Uh, Hank Bauer is pretty fast, but I don't want to give up their bats in case they're needed. Um... So, not that Seaburn's slow. He's going to stay on first base and stay in the game. Yogi Berra steps up to the plate. Nick Mahone on the stretch here at the pitch to Yogi. 1-6 roll is a 28. Run right into the shortstop, Logan, who's the fielding column one. The outset second, 6-4, to four, fielder's choice. Now Yogi's the base runner, Andy Carey. 5-4 as they fly out to right field. Two gone. It's going to be up to Moose Scourin. 14 homers in 1958. 4-2 rolls. A 41. Ground ball to third. The throw is to second to get Barrett out at second base. And he comes up limping in the second base. He'll be in injured. Yogi Berra is a J2 injury rating, 44 on the J2. He misses five games. Injury rating down here in the corner. So Berra goes out of the lineup. All right, Del Johnson will come in and catch the ninth inning for the Yankees. Ryan Duran is pitching for New York, and he'll be facing the top of the Milwaukee order, Bill Bruton. Red Chandies and Hank Aaron. Last of the ninth inning, we're tied 4-4. Four to four. Here's the pitch to Billy Bruton from Fireballing. Ryan Duran, 2-4, is a swing and a miss. Strike three, Bruton goes down. Bruton grabs some pine, and here is Red Chandies. 
Six fives popped up to the catcher, Daryl Johnson. The ball will find you on when you come in fresh off the bench off uh, in defense. That's how it goes in baseball. Henry Aaron is the batter. 3-2 is a ground ball to second base. We got extra innings here at Milwaukee County Stadium. 4-4 tie, 10th inning. All right, the fifth pitcher for the Milwaukee Braves in this game is Ernie Johnson, grade six pitcher, wide strikeout modifier. Gilman Dougal leads off for the Yankees. He spent some of his career as a leadoff batter for the Yankees. He's betting eighth in the lineup today. 4-1 is a ground ball to shortstop Johnny Logan. Throws out McDougal. One gone in the 10th. Here's Marv Thornberry. Marvelous Mar from Collierville, Tennessee. Famous with the Mets. 2-4 is a swing and a miss. Marvelous Mar Thornberry goes down swinging. Two gone, and now the top of the order, Tony Kubek. And Tony Kubek laces a single. He's on with two outs. Batter is Country Slaughter. Slaughter is 4-4-5. Four, four, Three singles and a triple. He is red hot. Mickey Mantle's on deck. Here's the pitch to Slaughter. 2-5. Base hit for Country Slaughter. Five-hit game for him. Kubek goes to third. Yankees are threatening with two outs. Here is Mickey Mantle. This game has been re replete with big moments. Here's another one. Ernie Johnson to Mickey Mantle. Infield playing deep. 4-2 is a base on balls. Mantle draws his fourth walk in the game and loads the bases. Braves are determined not to pitch to the Mick. Brings up Norm Seaburn. Seaburn is one for four with a double. He's a 300 hitter in 58. 6-1. That is going to be a base on balls. And Ernie Johnson walks in the go-ahead run. Seaburn gets his second RBI. Now we've got Seaburn at first, Mantle at second, and Slaughter at third. And Ernie Johnson picked the worst possible time to not find the strike zone. Here's uh, Daryl Johnson, who came in for the injured Yogi Bear. 2-6 is a fly out the right field, ending the inning. But the Yankees on two hits get a run, and they lead 5-4. to four. Longtime Detroit Tiger pitcher Virgil Fire Trucks will be called on to try to preserve this Yankee victory. He is a grade 11 reliever with a Y strikeout modifier and a W walk modifier. He's got a tough part of the Milwaukee order, Matthews, Covington, and Logan to deal with. Here's the pitch to Eddie Matthews. 6-4 is a base on balls. Braves get the potential tying run on base for Wes Covington. No slots with that bat. 5-1 is an 8. Covington delivers a single. First and second Milwaukee, nobody out. Here is Johnny Logan. All right, Don Larson and Snake Sturdivant are warming up in the Yankee bullpen. Larson throws right hands. Sturdivant is a lefty. Virgil Trucks is still out there. He's pitching to Johnny Logan. 1-6 is a 28. Grounded to Kubek. He goes to second for one on the first, not in time. Kubek is a rated eight shortstop. That's feeling column two. If he was a... Nine shorts up like Logan, that would have been a double play. As it is, it's first and third for Milwaukee. Covington retired at second. Matthews goes to third. So Matthews is at third. Logan at first. The batter is Joe is Frank Torrey. Torrey's a negative five against left handers. The Yankees are going to go to the bullpen. 
and call in Tom Sturdivant. And while Sturdivant warms up, the Braves will go to their bench and they're going to bring in Vernal Nippy Jones to hit for Frank Torrey. Torrey. Uh, if we go to the 11th inning, Jones will stay in the, in the game and play first base. Runners are first and third, one gone. Yankees are playing the infield at double play depth. Sturdivant wants something hit on the ground at a fielder. Here's the pitch. 3-5. Strike one. Stretch and the strike one pitch to Nippy Jones. 56 is a 34. Hit deep to left. Slaughter is going to make the catch. We need to roll for the depth. Five is uh, really deep to left. 61. Subtract Slaughter's arm, which isn't very good, and you got 35. Um, no chance to throw out Eddie Matthews from third scoring, and no chance to throw out Logan tagging up and going to second base as well. So that's an RBI for Vernal Nippy Jones. Game is tied five to five. That runner's charged the Virgil Trucks. Here is Del Crandall. He's got a runner in scoring position. There are two gone. Chance for the Braves to walk it off here. Sturdivant checks the runner. Here's a stretch and the pitch. 3 2 is a ground ball to second base. Fielded by McDougal, the throw to first. Crandall is out, but the Braves on one hit tie the score. We go to the top of the 11, 5 5. All right, as I said, Nippy Jones will stay in the game and play first base for Milwaukee. Ernie Johnson comes out. He, he'll be in his fatigue inning, second inning of work in relief. Andy Carey steps in the box for New York. Carey rolls a 6-2, which is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Carey grabs some pine. Here is Bill Scourin. Moose is one for five. 4-1 is a ground ball of shortstop. Johnny Logan with a play, two outs, and now Gil McDougal. 4-6 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Well done by Ernie Johnson. That gets the brace to the bottom of the 11th inning, tied 5-5. Five five. Tom Sturdivant is in his second inning of work. He's due to bat first next inning, so he's going to try to pitch this inning. Um, Billy Bruton, uh, no. Nope, we need a pitch hitter from Milwaukee. All right, that pitch hitter from Milwaukee is going to be Bob Hazel batting for the pitcher, Ernie Johnson. Uh, Hazel is that 4 3 hitter we talked about yesterday. He pinch hit yesterday's game and rolled out the shortstop. Sturdivant wheels and deals to Bob Hazel. 2 6 is a base on balls. Here's Billy Bruton. Bruton's going to swing away. Rolls a 5 6, that's a 34. Strikeout. Caught looking. One down. Here's Hall of Famer Red Shane Deast. One for five on the day. He doubled and scored in the seventh inning. Four one is a double play ground ball toward shortstop, fielded by Kubek to McDougal the first. Six four three inning ending double play. Takes us to the twelfth. Yankees five and the Braves five. Tom Studer is. Due to that first for the Yankees in the 12th inning, that he's not going to hit. Hank Bauer will pinch hit for Sturdivant. And we're down to the final pitcher on the card set for the Milwaukee Braves, David Jolly. He is a grade four relief pitcher, Y and W modifiers. Here's a pitch to Hank Bauer. 4 3 as they come back or back to Jolly. He makes the play 1 to 3. One gone. Tony Kubek. 
Six, six roll for Kubek. That's going to be a hit column roll. And five, three is a double for Kubek, putting him in scoring position. Kubek is two for six, seven, two for seven in this game. Brings up Slaughter, who's had an incredible day. Country Slaughter is five for six with a triple. Four singles. Mantles on deck. Jolly with a stretch and the pitch. Fly out to center field. It's going to be up to Mickey to see if they get the Yankees ahead here. He's walked four times in this game and is over two. The pitch from David Jolly, 21, is going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three. Mickey Mantle strikes out. Bottom of the 12th, 5-5 five, five tie. All right, the 18th pitcher for the Yankees, 18th player to, for the Yankees to enter this game is going to be Don Larson. He is the sixth pitcher. He is a grade 11 starting pitcher. He could go a while. Fatigue point doesn't come until batter number 26. He'll be facing Aaron Matthews and Covington. Tall order. Here's a pitch to Henry Aaron. 5-2 is a ground ball to third base. Andy Carey scoops and throws the first. One out. Here's Eddie Matthews. Matthews hits a ground ball to shortstop. Fumbled by Kubek, E6. Potential winning run is at first base and Eddie Matthews. Here's Wes Covington. Two for five on the day with a home run. Larson goes into the stretch. Here is the pitch. Base hit for Covington. Matthews will go to third. First and third Milwaukee with only one gone. Well, what do we do? Do we play the infield back for double play or in to stop the runner at third but increases Logan's batting average? Gonna play for a double play. Here's the pitch to Johnny Logan. Three six is a base on balls. Now there are so many ways that the Braves could win this game. Wild pitch or pass ball, long enough fly ball for a sacrifice, which is what the batter at Vernal Nippy Jones did his last time up. He had a sack fly to left field. If he repeats that performance, this game will be over. Larson needs a strikeout or a double play ball. The Yankees are still going to play double play depth. Here's the pitch to Vernal Nippy Jones. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column roll, and it's going to be a walk-off double, which is going to be scored as a single. That scores Matthews, and the Braves win the game. Vernal Nippy Jones is the hero with the walk-off single. He's got two RBIs in this game. Braves win. Six to five, they are still the kings of the hill. What a struggle this one was. All right, to recap, the Yankees scored five runs on 14 hits and three errors. The Braves had six runs, 11 hits, and no errors. Home runs in the game by Andy Carey for the Yankees and Wes Covington for the Milwaukee Braves. The winning pitcher, Dave Jolly, goes home most jolly. He pitched the last inning. When the, when the Braves won, so he's a winning, winning pitcher. Bob Trowbridge made the biggest contribution in those six innings with three runs allowed. And the losing pitcher is Don Larson, pitched a third of inning, gave up the winning run. And Vernal Nippy Jones getting it done off the bench for Milwaukee. It took a lot of people off the bench. Milwaukee used six pitchers. New York used six pitchers. Yank I know the Yankees had 18 players. Uh, six and nine, six and eight for Milwaukee is 14 plus a couple pinch hitters. 16 pitchers, 16 players used by Milwaukee. All right, our next game will be tomorrow, and it's going to be against the Go Go Sox. Louis Aparicio, Nelly Fox, early win. 
1959 American League champions, the Go-Go Sox will come to Milwaukee County's stadium just 90 miles north from their home and take on the Kings of the Hill, the Milwaukee Braves. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and may God bless.